Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. As we spend these few moments in devotion, let's spend them with our Good Shepherd, Jesus. I read from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verse 16. No one lights a lamp and hides it in a clay jar or puts it under a bed. Instead, they put it on a stand so that those who come in can see the light. In his book, God Came Near, Max Lucado tells the story about four candles that didn't want to leave their storage closet during a power outage. When the owner went to find them and light them so he could see in the dark, the candles began to talk. They didn't want to leave. One candle said he needed more preparation. Another was too busy. Another said she wasn't qualified. And the last one said, giving her light? Well, now, that's not one of her gifts. Of course, that's just a story. Candles don't talk. But that story reflects some of our attitudes when it comes to letting our light shine out to others so that people see God working in our lives and give him praise just as Jesus taught. We have been created to shine. We have been saved to shine. We have been equipped to shine. Yet we too have our excuses. Some of us feel we need more training before we can tell others about Jesus. Some of us look at our own lives and feel we don't have the right to talk about the Lord because of our own failures. Others of, us, others of us simply concentrate on doing other things. The Lord is quick to set us straight. We are the light of the world, he said, just as he is the light. We need to let go of our excuses and simply let our light shine. But the joy for us is that unlike a candle, we don't have to create the light we are to shine with. Jesus is that light. His loving forgiveness and grace is to shine through us to all around. He's shown with unborrowed light. We use his light to shine. This light shines in formal situations and informal ones. It shines as we talk about Jesus and we talk about other things. It shines through the way we go about our lives and by how we stand in line waiting. It shines as we follow our course and by how we deal with being off course. Ask yourself today, how and where can I let my light shine? We pray. Father in heaven, give us the grace and willingness to be what you have intended us to be, so that we will let our light shine for Jesus. In his name, amen. Well, my friends, wherever you are today, let your gospel light shine 